hello friends good to see you again through this video today i wanted to talk about one important subject never forget the humble beginning that is what i wanted to share you know when we talk about humble beginning right we all have humble beginnings you know when we go trace back our life the way we started like, uh, like for example how we started our job or you know uh, what how we we started our ma married life so likewise every starting that we have in our life you know when you trace back from the current situation you can find out that we had a humble beginning and now god has blessed us you know god has given us the privileges and you know he has blessed us in so many ways that we can see his faithfulness and goodness as he has led us all the way through so today when we don't realize the humble beginning that we have or when we forget the humble beginnings we had what will happen that's what i wanted to share i wanted to share with couple of examples from the bible also so that we'll know the importance of knowing where we came from or you know knowing our humble beginning see one uh, important thing what will happen is when we forget the humble beginnings we had we can easily get into a pride mode you know like we, uh, pride can easily occupy us right because we see today in world you know when people tend to forget their humble beginnings they think what they are present is going to be there forever right like you know and they think okay i have wealth i have power i have uh, the favor of men and you know i have accomplished this so i don't need to care about you know where i came from so i have so much of power in my hand that i can do anything what i want to do today so when that kind of a mentality comes what happens automatically pride comes into our life right and when pride comes then it leads to destruction because that's what bible says you know pride will always put you put yourself in the path of arrogance the more pride we have we will automatically become arrogant like you know we'll be we will be arrogant person and we want uh, you know everything to be done in our way right that uh, that is how we see in the world people are operating today so to, uh, so the question before you and me today is uh, do we want to go in that kind of a lifestyle like where we forget our, our humble beginnings and we become so arrogant and then arrogancy will only lead to destruction which means you know it will destroy us also right it will make us to lose our friendships it will make us to lose our relationship and also it will make us to lose our character also so that is why i wanted to share two examples who of who both had humble beginnings these two people but one forget his humble beginning and because of that he he became he became so pride and like you know pride led to his destruction on the other hand there was the person whom we are going to see even though when he was lifted above even though when he was blessed in abundant way he still didn't forget his humble beginnings that's what we are going to see today the first person is king saul so king saul was the first king of the nation of israel right so they didn't had a king before so they wanted the tribes wanted uh, they went to ask uh, prophet samuel and said we want a king can you please uh, you know give us a king and then prophet samuel inquired of, about this to the lord and the lord said okay you can uh, anoint sam uh, king saul saul as the first king you know when saul was anointed people did not like Uh, like him to be the ruler right because most of them didn't accept because he came from the smallest tribe called the benjamin tribe in the 12 tribes of israel so that was one reason and moreover he was not like a very well known person right he was very soft very very uh, like kind of a soft kind of person that's what uh, we see uh, from his uh, actions and the way you know he carried himself so god anointed him he chose him like you know even though he was so like you know uh, he was not like so re really like a, a great guy but still god chose him and he put him as a king of israel but what happened like you know we read in this uh, verse like uh, if you read in first samuel chapter 13 so it says after one year has gone during his reign so so saul completed one year of reign right like you know he was the king as one uh, for the one whole year and when the second year came so they were about to go to a place called gilgal where they offer sacrifices like you know in the altar like burnt offerings sacrifice offerings like right? 
so it is at that point of time they were waiting for samuel to come and samuel did not turn up until the seventh day right like for seven days like uh, samuel did not come so the people were getting so restless and they began to disperse so saul was like kind of uh, you know uh, anxious about everything is happening and then he took the matter in his own hands he thought okay i am being the king right so i should also have the right you know to sacrifice and uh, you know uh, present this offering at the altar so he did what samuel was supposed to do and that was the first disobedience you know that really triggered uh, saul's downfall then the second disobedience what happened if you read in first samuel chapter 15 the lord asked uh, uh, saul to go and destroy the amalekites right god did ask them destroy them completely he said don't leave anything behind but what uh, saul did you know he destroyed the people but he kept some of the, uh, the the wealth and the sheep the cattle you know which looked very good right for him so he retained them this is again like you know something like you know the lord did not like so uh, the lord sent uh, samuel with a stern warning to king saul so it is at that time now samuel is reminding to king saul like if you read in first samuel chapter 15 verse 17 18 onwards he was saying like you know though you were so little among the israel the people of israel the lord chose you but now you have decided to disobey him so now you have decided to turn your heart against him so he, the lord is going to turn against you and he is going to take away the king the kingdom from you that's what samuel said see just imagine this basic thing that happened in Saul's life you know the lord chose him from like a he, he was not even a big person like you know he was not a famous personality like that so the lord chose him from nowhere and he put him on 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 kingship but when he got the power when he became powerful or when he tasted the the the, the power of a king you know uh, Saul let his uh let his mind to deviate from the lord and he was focused more on you know okay i have the power now you know i am the king so i can do whatever i i i can do so he began to operate in that style and eventually he became you know pride about himself right so pride what have happened it made made him arrogant and also it made him to disobey the command of the lord so that is exactly what can happen to our life also my dear friends you know when we become so arrogant when we so become so pride about what is happening around us or what we have when we forget the humble beginnings we had and think that we had everything now we have the power we have the people we have the money wealth fame so society status you know when we think like that it is very easy for us to go into a destruction mode and we can set ourselves against the lord because that is what the verse says right like you know if you read in uh, james chapter 4 verse 6 it says very clearly right the the lord opposes the proud you know and and those who are humble he gives grace to them says the word of the lord so today we need to understand are we like saul you know are we like saul like you know allowing uh, us to forget about our humble beginnings are are we going to be like david because the next person i wanted to talk about is david right because david had a very rough start to you know when he was anointed right after his after he was anointed then he had to spend several years like uh, in order to uh, be uh, be a king in the israel right because he was facing opposition from saul and he had to en- encounter so much of trouble there were a lot of uncertainties for him but in spite of all those things finally he saw the lord fulfilling his uh, you know the his calling in his life right the lord said that he is going to be king one day and definitely he made that to happen so we read in second samuel chapter 7 uh, verse 1 onwards you know when the lord gave him rest from all his enemies and when he settled him in that palace you know david was not like you know a kind of satisfied or like you know he was not content with okay i am well settled now now i will just forget about what happened in the past no he did not do like that instead he was like kind of thinking about 
okay i live in such a big place but the ark of the the covenant the ark of the covenant is just uh, in it, it even doesn't have a place to stay so how is this possible so he wanted something to do for the lord always there was always a passion or like a burning fire in david's heart to do something for the lord right so that is one way where he was showing his humbleness to the lord right humility because in even though the lord raised him as a king of the king of the nation gave him the power access to everything he was still willing to put himself under the lord you know seeking the presence of the lord on a daily basis asking god for guidance for each and everything and that is why he says if you read in second samuel chapter 7 right like uh, if you read in verse 18 he says you know lord who am i that you have brought me and my family thus far so david remembered like you know like from a shepherd's family like or of or just being a shepherd boy like tending few sheep in the field from that position lord from there you have brought me all the way to this palace and you have given me the authority power people wealth whatever i need so who am i that you have led me all this way i am not even worthy of this you know he was he was displaying his humility before the lord and he was acknowledging the fact that it is only because of god's hand that it all happened and that is why the lord said i will establish your throne forever and in the david's lineage he sent his son jesus christ to this world as a savior right so today my dear friends uh, there are two examples in before us right one king saul who also had a humble beginning but when he had the power when he became great he became so prideful about what he he got and then he lost everything but on the other hand david also had a humble beginning but in spite of you know reaching the pinnacle in his career in his life he did not forget his humble beginning or he did not forget his lord he was always willing to be obedient to the lord and that is why we saw the lord promise him that his throne shall be established forever so today how are we going to live like you know are we going to be like uh, somebody like saul who forgets the humble beginnings that we had or are we going to be thankful for the lord for bringing us from that humble beginning to what we are today and just cherish cherishing the goodness and faithfulness of the lord that is what we need to understand you know today on the spiritual side also in our spiritual life we we have this kind of you know pride coming inside right see see we all had a humble beginning in the sense we all were sinners bible says it very clearly we all were sinners and come short of glory of god so by the grace of the lord we have been saved through his son jesus christ that is very clear so once we have been redeemed right we cannot look down on the people who are still struggling in the sin because our our job is now to make sure that we help them to get out of the sin or we introduce jesus to them so that they will find the salvation but instead many times what we do we forget where we come from you know we forget our humble beginning or we forget that once we were also a sinner and then we pass judgment on others who are struggling today as if like you know we are so perfect and they are not perfect like that so that is again a warning for you and me today right it is very easy to get into that kind of a temptation you know when we live when we are in the in the in a church or like you know when we are in a group of believers it is easy to look down on a people who are struggling with some addiction or some kind of a, you know uh, uh, shortcomings like that so how are we going to deal with them is an another question that we need to think so today that is why i wanted to stress this importance of never ever forget the humble beginning you had because the bible says you know the lord gives us the humble beginning but he can increase the later end to be like a prosperous one which means to be a blessed one so that we in turn can be a blessing to many so never ever forget your humble beginnings be thankful for the lord from from where he has taken you from where he has brought you to this place to the current situation or to the current uh, place where you are standing today may the lord bless this word you all have a blessed and a happy day god bless you